Hello again, once again, uh, to the Sonata Chronicles vlog, episode 11. 11, that's two ones together. And together is always good. One and one. Yes. Make 11. That's not 11. That's two. <laughs> that's two. <laughs> it's very confusing. We're going to start again with another viewer asked question. Um, so we've got a question sent to us by a viewer. Again, you can send these questions to this Twitter account at Sonata Chronicles. I'm sorry, at Chronicles Sonata. It's Chronicles Sonata. It's Chronicles Sonata. The uh, Sonata Facebook... Sonata Chronicles wouldn't fit. No. The Facebook page, the, uh, Cro the, Son the Sonata Chronicles, or the YouTube, which you are watching now. Either one of those sites, you can definitely ask us a question. We'll try and answer that as they come in. And so our viewer question today is, why are we doing video games alongside movies? Well, there's several reasons. Uh, first is, first and foremost, really, is it gives us a chance to add another level of immersion to the films and to the whole experience. The uh, whole idea behind the Sonata Chronicles is to kind of do what Gene Roddenberry did so well with Star Trek, but take it to that next level, because now you see that video games are becoming movies, movies are becoming video games, but it's always just a an adaptation or a recreation where the it's the story of the game played out for you in the movie or it's the movie story of the movie turned into the game and so what we're trying to do is give you the audience member a chance to play through the games and be a part of the world in a way that you can see your character's choices and what your character does in the story how it plays out a thousand years later when the films begin and how time progresses we're also going to use it to create some suspense because uh, you know and none of this is really developed yet but my vision is your character is very working very close with constant to stabilize the empire to help create make it a safe place you know free of bandits and, and invading forces and that kind of thing and then you go from where that first game starts with you working very close to constant to a thousand years later where some of this stuff has been foreshadowed in the game but suddenly constant is the adversary and the antagonist and you're not quite sure why and you'll have to play through the games and watch the movies you know and or watch the movies to figure that out second reason is business uh, because the video game market is so profitable and the movie market can be so profitable and they're coming closer and closer together we're trying to get to the next step by integrating the two businesses together in a way that is not only just capitalizing on the same intellectual property but creating a grander experience so there's the social game that helps you get a head start on your character then there's the platform then game. there's the plat the computer games that put your character directly into the action and then results in what occurs in the films and in this way you know finding out what happens next being a bigger part of this the overall story is a huge revenue generator that will hopefully make all of us rich and also it's instead of reacting to the movie coming out by producing a game to follow up so that you can keep getting people encouraged and motivated to continue following that storyline it's it's acting alongside right and building a franchise as we go which is really the third reason um, you know right now you know, there's a lot of complaints about reboots and reimaginings and and you know revisions and sequels and but a lot of that is because you will go see stuff you know so through making the games and creating material and the webcomic which we're doing we're creating material to help build that franchise so that there's a familiarity with audiences that comes with as the product rolls out since it is a new story something new and inventive you'd want to have at least some sort of background knowledge of it to immerse yourself into that world 
And if you like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, you can be some of the people that liked us before it was cool. That's right. There's some uh, old school cred right there. Yes. But that's going to bring us to the discussion topic for today, which uh, still features on the uh, history and the mythos of the game world. So we're still talking a thousand years before the movie starts. Um, did you forget to start the timer? I, I did forget to start the timer. You I knew. totally did. I totally did. It's still this on. is going to be a huge, <laughs> huge episode again. Maybe this will, this might be a two-parter. I can start it now. Not, go ahead. <laughs> May as well. Might as well start it. Hopefully. I think we've already gone for almost five minutes. So. 